Kickstarter. This isn't a huge surprise. They're not breaking news by any account. It was between him and Trask. But of course, they signed Baker to be the starter. I'm not saying it's a formality that he had to sort of win the job, but he had to win the job. It was hers to win. He did not lose it, right? It's his to win. Uh, so the Buccaneers saying time to bake. What up? We love that uh, social media squad down there in Tampa making it happen. Um, listen, this is... A good thing. I was talking to Hamilton before the show, right before this half. He's like, eh, do you want the asteroid or do you want, like, the earthquake? Like, no, we're excited for Baker because he is a guy who has some pedigree. He can take control of the offense, hopefully be a steady hand for this team. And let's not forget, like, when he had to take over for a bit with the Rams, he had some juice. He brought the, that team some juice. And if he can do that... And I think he can because he had Cooper Cup with the Rams and now he's got other receivers like Mike Evans and Chris Godwin still there. Like, they did not leave. They've not abandoned the NFC South, which is, by the way, the biggest mystery division in all of sports. All four teams in the NFC South have new starters taken over. So you tell me as we look at the FanDuel Sportsbook odds, it's anybody's game, right? Sure, Derek Carr, the most proven amongst them. We talked about this yesterday. Who is Desmond Ritter? We know who Arthur Smith is, though. We know Kyle Pitts. We know they might have the most athletic players uh, on offense in their team. Carolina Panthers, also a bit of a mystery there. So with those sort of odds with the Buccaneers, some stability, I know the fact that this is happening not a couple of days before the first game of the season. It's happening before the third preseason game. I like this. It's some consistency now. We can stop sort of talking about it. We've talked to a lot of people about Baker. You know who we haven't heard from? Baker. You know who loves that? Me. I love that he's not talking. I like that he's not, you know, I even said, I was like, maybe we can try to get him on the show. Maybe we can, like, make a deal and get him to be a guest on the show because we have not heard from him. That is a sign of I'm putting my head down. I'm working because I'm aware. I'm speaking for Baker now. And there's the boat. There's the orcs. The battle for Helm's Deep is about to begin here in the middle of the night. Did, did you guys hear that out there? Tweet me at Up and Adam Show. We're at a, we're at a Vikings game, Goldfarb is like, we're at, a Vi we're at a Vikings game. We are also, why don't you like my Lord of the Rings thing? You keep saying it's a boat. Will you just play the Lord of the Rings orc game with me? Okay. Wasn't there a big horn in the battle of Helm's Deep? Right? I don't know. Okay, but we're not going to talk about that for too much longer. But if I'm Baker, let me just wrap it with this. This is my last shot, probably, at being a starting quarterback in the National Football League. Like, it will be tough sledding if this doesn't work out. So if you're Baker, you are shutting up. You're not bl bl blowing the horns or whatever's going on in the studio right now, and you're trying to make it happen. So uh, good luck to him, and congratulations to Baker. And, yeah, maybe, like, uh, what's up? Like... You what? Want to come on the show? Want to like make a little deal? I'd like to hear from him week in, week out on the program. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adams content right on YouTube.